everybody. Welcome to Bar with Mary. It is week four of your spring reset. Today's class is going to be <laughs> one to pump yourself up for. We're going to have a blast. It's going to be really challenging. I'm not going to lie to you. So take a minute and notice where your headspace went right as I said it was going to be challenging. I, it doesn't, it's okay wherever it went, right? But just need to notice about yourself. Like, is that, oh sweet, I can't wait? Or is that, oh, I should shut this off. There's no way I'll be able to do this. Um, just check in, right? An opportunity to check in with the way you talk to yourself and a way to connect back with yourself. So today's class is gonna be all about really deep core work. We're gonna fire it up, we're gonna fire it up big time. It's gonna be quite the burner. So you're gonna need two sliders. So I'm gonna use two dish towels. Dish towels work really, really well if you are on something smooth like hardwood. If you're on carpet, you can just use socks. Socks works really well. Um, socks work really well, there it is. <laughs> Or you can grab um, a magazine, hardcover book, frisbees, upside down frisbees, paper plates. That's probably more reasonable than frisbees. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you do in your spare time. Um, <laughs> and then go ahead and meet me on your mats. You're going to start with your feet on your sliders. And you're going to lay down on your mats. So I have my mat folded, so I have a little bit more space for my sliding work. If you have plenty of space, don't worry about folding your mat. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, I want you to just soften your shoulders and relax down into the mat. Let your arms come up and out into a V-shape and extend your legs along. They can stay on the sliders here. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, I want you to just pull your left knee and your left elbow in towards each other so you're contracting the left side of your body and you're really opening to the right side of the body. Inhale, extend the arm and leg back out. And exhale, switch sides. Right knee, right elbow, pull in towards each other. You feel the opening in the left side. Inhale. And again, exhale back to the left. So you're going to keep going like this, just side to side. As silly as this might feel, it's such a great way to open up laterally, open up through the sides of the body. We're really going to be working the core from all angles today. We're going to be taking some seated abdominal work. We're going to be taking some good plank work, some side plank work, all of these things that are really gonna need you to have a good range of motion. Last time here, right side. Inhale. Now I want you to exhale, pull left knee to left elbow, but keep going so you circle all the way onto your left side here. Take that left arm out in front of you and then reach the right arm back, opening up for a nice twist here. Knees can be stacked or they can be staggered. It really doesn't matter. We're just trying to open up the spine a little bit, get a little twisting through the torso. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, open back out to that little starfish shape. And as you exhale, right knee, right elbow, rolling all the way onto the right side. And then the left arm falls open. So you take a nice little twist here. It does not need to be a super deep one. Pretty gentle is probably a great idea just at the beginning of class. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Inhale yourself back onto your back. Bend your knees. You can bring the sliders with you. Plant your feet into the ground and let your arms come to rest at your side. Pushing through the heels, I want you to take an inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to draw your pubic bone towards your belly button and start to articulate up one vertebrae at a time, rolling up into your bridge position. Hold for an inhale at the top. And as you exhale, reverse that from the very top part of the spine that's lifted. You roll down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, tip the pubic bone to the belly button to initiate that roll up. And again, keep going like this, using your breath to support you as you move. I think it's really important before you go into really deep, contracted abdominal work like we're going to do, that you open up the front of the hips. So you have this nice open position, inhale. And you also get some nice articulation from the spine. One more time, inhale. As you exhale, I want you to hold your hips up at that high point, and I want you to notice what's happening with your ribs. Really draw the ribs in and soften them down here so you're not arching through the ribcage. I want you to inhale, sweep the arms up, 
and overhead, keeping the rib cage down. And then exhale, sweep the arms back down. Two more. Inhale, arms reach overhead, shoulders soft, ribs soft. Exhale. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift the hips a little higher. And then exhale, roll it down. Now keeping the hips down, sweep the arms up overhead. They may not go all the way to the floor without being able to open your ribs. So go ahead and take them as far back as you can while keeping your rib cage closed. Inhale here. As you exhale, take the arms up overhead, nod the chin to the chest, and then roll yourself up slowly. You may need to send your sliders forward to get there. Inhale. And then exhale, reverse that all the way down. Nice, slow articulation, one vertebrae at a time. Head comes last, and then arms float to wherever you can maintain the ribs. Inhale. Exhale, do it again. Roll it up. And that place where it feels kind of sticky, inhale. Take your time there. Right, instead of just rushing right through that place where it gets hard, notice if you can maybe get a little deeper. Notice if you need a little bit of support for yourself. Whatever it is that you need to do to feel successful and not just skip right over the hard part, right? If that means you need to take your hands to the mat or to the backs of the thighs, please do. Right here, you can catch the backs of your thighs to help support you. That's connecting with your body right there. Last one, exhale. Now this time, I want you to stop halfway down. Hold it right there. I'm gonna slide myself back just an inch or two here so I'm on my mat. I want you to catch a hold of the backs of your thighs. Even if you feel really strong, just take a minute here and catch a hold of the backs of your thighs. And just check it. Hip bones are hugging in. Ribs are hugging in and back. You're scooping the belly out. Collarbones are nice and wide. Now I am slightly tucked here. So I do have a little rounding for my low spine. If you prefer to be in neutral, that's totally fine. Either one is a great option. For me, I find that scooping and rounding a little bit really helps relax my hip flexors a little bit deeper. From here, you can keep your hands where they are or you can ring them to prayer, it's totally your choice. You're gonna send the left leg out, squeeze it in. You're gonna send the right leg out, squeeze it in. As your left leg extends, you twist towards it. Bring it in. Right leg extends, twist towards it. Bring it in. Pick it up. Go twist. 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 So hands are staying right in the center of the chest, and I'm twisting from my rib cage here. So it's not that I'm twisting my shoulders side to side, it's that my obliques are wringing out like a wet towel here. It's a little twist. Twist. Yes. You just have four, three, two. Now I want you to take this one to the left and I want you to hold it. Just your left leg is gonna pull in and reach out. Pull it in, reach out. You can take a right hand behind the right thigh for a little bit of support here, that's totally fine. Take it in, reach it out. Four more, inhale, exhale, go three, yes. And reach. Two more, it's in. And reach. Last one, I want you to hold that extended left leg and just twist your waist, go little twist, little twist, little twist. So again, thumbs are staying right in the center of the chest and the abdominals are twisting, little twist, little twist. Yes, you're here for four, three, two, inhale. And exhale, come back to center. You can catch your legs for a moment of a reset. If you need to sit up, please sit up. That's totally fine. If you're ready, hands back to the chest. Extend that right leg, twist to the right. Just the right leg pulls in. We reach it out. Pull it in. We reach it out. Left hand can always come back behind the left thigh for a little bit of support here. Totally fine. Especially if your hip flexors are talking to you. Four. And reach. Go three. And reach. Two more. The last one, you're gonna keep this right leg extended and twist to the right, go a little twist, little twist, little twist, little twist. You have eight, seven. Thumbs stay right in the center of the chest. Go four, three, two, inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Take a moment, reset however you need. Inhale, 
Exhale, sits bone, squeeze in. Pubic bone draws up and low ribs hugging and down. If you feel ready, extend the arms. Let both legs reach out. Pull it in. Both legs reach. Both legs pull. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, you have four more. Let's go. It's four. You're almost there. In with this section. In three. Things will change, I promise. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Now I want you to hold the extension of the legs. Draw the pubic bone up and just go little reach. Little reach. Little reach. Ribs are folding in and back. Heart is reaching forward. Just go 16, 15. Squeeze the sits bones together. Feel the sides of the waist wrap in. Go eight, seven, six. You're here for four, three, two. Hold it. Inhale. Exhale, get lower. Scoop the pubic bone towards the low ribs. You're here for four, three, two. Hug the knees in. Wrap your arms around the shins and lift the heart up. Ooh, take a minute and breathe here. If you want to drop your forehead to your knees and around your spine, you're welcome to do that. <sighs> take a big inhale and a big exhale. Flip yourself over. Your feet are still going to be on your sliders. Your hands are going to come onto your mat. I'm actually going to take my mat and roll it up one more time here just so I get a little bit of extra cushion for my wrists. Feel free to do the same if you'd like. So feet are going to be on the sliders. Hands are going to be underneath your shoulders. Before we start this series, if at any point if it's too much on your hands, go ahead and come to your forearms. That's totally fine. And please know that you can drop your knees whenever you need. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, extend the legs out, coming to your high plank. We're going to start this series working the left obliques. So left knee is going to pull in towards right elbow, and then the left leg is going to extend back out. It's exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach it out. Four more. Now as you pull your left knee in, notice if your left hip is dropping. Keep it in line with the right. Exhale. Inhale. Now I want you to hold this one on the in. Shift your left hand over to the center of your mat and rotate into a side plank. The left knee is still bent. Yes. So this top right hip is going to want to roll open. Fight to keep it stacked directly over the left. Yes. Left knee starts to pull a little in, little pull, little pull, little pull, little draw. If you need more support, you can always bend this right foot into the ground. <laughs> that was not my most graceful transition. <laughs> Go eight, seven, six. You're here for four, three, two, hold. Inhale. As you exhale, extend that left leg out. Lift the hips a little higher and hold here. Four, three, two. Left knee draws in, back to high plank. Reset yourself however you need to. <sighs> right leg. Exhale, right knee across to left elbow. Inhale, right leg extends. Ready? Let's go. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, pull it in. Exhale, reach it out. <laughs> Exhale, pull it in. There's inhale, reach it out for more. That's a whole lot of exhaling I'm having you do. <laughs> Two more. Pull it in. Reach down. Now you're going to hold this one in. Slide your right hand to the center of your mat and rotate to a right side plank. Now again, this top left hip is going to want to roll open. Stack it directly over the bottom right one. Right knee pulls a little in. Little pull. Little pull. Little in. Lift up through the hips. Soften through the right shoulder and press down into the mat. Go eight, seven, six. You're here for four, three, two. Extend that right leg out. Lift the hips higher. Inhale. Exhale. High plank. The right leg pulls in. Shift forward to the tiptoes and lower yourself all the way down to the belly. A little moment of reprieve. Slide the elbows out. So we'll go close position. 
Untuck the toes and press the tops of the feet down into the floor. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to press your pubic bone down into the mat. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quadriceps, and push down to the tops of the feet. Now on your next inhale, float the arms and the chest long and lift them off the mat. As you exhale, lower all of it back down. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, lower. Squeeze the quads. Inhale, lift. Soften the shoulders. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift. Soften the shoulders. Exhale. Two more like that. Notice if you're craning in the back of the neck. Really try to lengthen and soften there. Last one. I want you to hold the lift. I want you to sweep the arms back behind you. Palms can face the floor or they can face your thighs. It's totally your call. Inhale, reach the tips of the ears forward. And as you exhale, just lift the heart. Little lift, hold. Little lift, hold. It's up, hold. Now, as you're lifting up, I want you to first feel the crown of the head lengthening forward. So it's forward and up. So it's really less about getting high and much more about getting long. Four more, go four, three, two. I want you to hold that lift, inhale. As you exhale, sweep the arms forward. Thumbs can rotate up towards the ceiling. Push down to the tops of the feet. Push down to the pubic bone. And then feel the back side of your core really active here as you lift a little higher for four, three, two. Lay everything down to the mat. Tuck the toes back onto your sliders. Press down through the palms on either side of your armpits. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press it up to your high plank. Yes, again, take your forearms anytime. From here, you're gonna draw both knees in, coming to a bear plank. You're gonna lift the hips up, coming to a downward dog, and then you're gonna slide your legs back out, coming back into your high plank. This can be done on forearms. Inhale, knees in. Exhale, hips up. Slowly, slide it back down. It's knees in, downward dog, slow it down, and find stability. As you move here, I wanna challenge you to try to keep your hips in line with your shoulders when you come into that bear plank position. It's not until you come to the downward tonk, <laughs> I lost my slider, <laughs> that your hips are gonna go up. Two more, pull it in. <laughs> Lift it up, slide it down. Last one, knees pull in. Hips lift up, you slide it down. Hold this plank, take an inhale. As you exhale again, I want you to lift your hips and pull your right knee into your chest. As you inhale, slide right back out to your high plank. This time it's the left knee pulls in, hips lift, and you slide it back out. Let's go, right knee pulls in, back to your plank. Left knee pulls in, back to your plank. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, four more. Hips up, hips on shoulders. Three, breathe, you've got this. Two, the last one. Woo, ready? Hold your plank, this is it. And it's just four times. This is it on your hands, in a plank position. Pike it up, hold it, slide it, down, down, down. Let's pike it up, hold it. Slide it down, two, three, two more. Pike it up, slide it down, hold it. Last one, pike it up. Here we go, slide it and hold your plank. You're here for eight, seven, maybe close your eyes. Find your breath, you're here for four, you're here for three, 
You're here for two. Tap your knees. Lay back on your back. We're gonna finish this ab burner laying flat. Oh, it's gonna feel amazing after that plank series, huh? <laughs> you don't need your sliders. Go and send them to the side. Lay back on your back. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to fold the legs up to a tabletop position. Knees over the hips. Feet a little bit higher than the knees. Send the arms up to the ceiling. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, I want you to curl head, neck, and shoulders up. Inhale, lower them back down. And exhale, curl them up. It's inhale, lower. It's exhale, curl. Three more. Take it back. Take a curl. Take it back. And curl. The last one. You're going to hold that curl. Your hands can catch the back of your thighs. Or if you want a little bit of neck support, hands can come back behind your head. They can also switch between the two. That's totally fine. Take a big breath. As you exhale here, I want you to pull your ribs in and down and curl your heart. Little curl. Little curl. Little curl. Little curl. So here's a great opportunity to check in and really find if you're engaging as deeply as you want to be. So out in every exhale, you want to squeeze the sits bones together and feel the pelvic floor drying up. You want to feel the hip bones hugging in towards center, the ribs hugging in and drawing down. So you're really wrapping all of the layers of your abdominals in and drawing them towards center, towards midline. Yes, eight more, I go eight, seven, six. You're here for four, three, two. You're gonna hold that curl, inhale. As you exhale, I want you to draw your left shin in and extend your right leg out. Now switch, right leg in, left leg extends. You take it, switch, switch, switch. If your head and neck are done, Go ahead and take your head down to the mat. That's totally fine. Now notice here, I'm not twisting. I'm staying right at center. If you're desperate to twist and take a bicycle, you totally can. What I like about staying center here is I can really focus on keeping my abdominals strong and stable. Obviously, it's a little less oblique, though. So you're here for eight, seven, six. You're going to meet me with that left leg in in four. Beautiful, her ribs are hanging down. Two, now I want you to draw that left leg in and hold it. Extend the left leg to the ceiling. Reach up, catch a hold behind that left leg and take a little curl, little curl, little curl, little up, little up. Hand can always come back behind the head for neck support. Eight, seven, six. You're here for four, three, two, hold it. Inhale, exhale, bend that left knee. Switch, right leg in, right leg extends. Catch a hold behind the right leg. Let's go, little curls, you've got this. Little curl, little curl, little curl. Inner thighs are squeezing in. Her ribs are hugging down. It's eight, seven, six. You're here for four, three, two. Hold that curl, inhale. Exhale, left leg comes up to meet the right. Hands can come behind the head, or you can rest your head back down. Totally your call. I want you to sink the low belly down. And I want you to think about reaching your toes up to the ceiling and go a little tip. Go a little tip. It's a little tip. So I'm pulling down through my low belly and reaching my toes up. A little tip. A little curl. A little up. So you're really feeling the hip bones wrapping in towards center. You're feeling the front and low ribs wrapping down and notice here if you're tensing in your shoulders or in your face try to keep it soft go eight seven squeeze the quadriceps feel that length in the legs you're here for three you're here for two now i want you to hold this deep engagement of your belly and you take an inhale and as you exhale i want you to lower your legs four Three, two, find that challenge point. Hold it there. Yes. You've got this. You're right here. 
You're almost done. Ribs are hugging in. Sits bones are squeezing together. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, curl it up. Go little curl, little curl, little curl. Yes, you have 16, 15. You do have a hold, and that is where you'll finish this class today. Eight more, go eight, seven, six. You're here for four, three, two, hold it. Inhale. As you exhale, we send the fingertips back and lower the legs. Hold it here for four. Almost there, it's three. Reach up farther, two. Hug the knees in. Let the head rest back. And then rock from side to side. Oh, amazing work. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Take your hands to the tops of your knees. You know how much I love this one. And then go ahead and just circle the legs around. I feel like this is such a great way to release the hips, to open up through the front line of the body, to kind of massage the low back. Reverse your circle. <sighs> Hug the legs in one more time, and then roll over your favorite shoulder to come onto your belly for a sphinx pose. Slide your forearms down into the mat, elbows are under the armpits. Draw the energy of the forearms back as you lift the heart. Soften the shoulders. Oh, just let yourself open to the whole front line of the body here. Hmm. Big inhale, big exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. Slide the hands back under the shoulders and press yourself up onto all fours here. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, lift the hips and open up through the front side of the body. As you exhale, press the mat away, round the spine, tuck the chin. Now you can keep going like this in this pretty traditional cow cow. Or if you want to take a little circle, that could feel really good here. Circling the head and the tail around, making sure you go in both directions. You could also take a little swing from side to side with the hips and the head. Meet me back at center, big toes together, knees as wide as it feels good, and then sit back into your child's pose. Forehead's going to melt down into the mat, arms extend out in front of you, and just let your belly go here. Let it just be soft. Let your forehead melt down into your mat. Let's take three big breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. The last one. Inhale. Exhale. When you are ready, walk yourself up to a seated position. Find any position of the legs that feels good for you. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, let them go. That was possibly, in my opinion, the most challenging class of the spring reset. <laughs> so amazing work. And just notice how you feel. Notice how you talk to yourself throughout the class. Notice the moments that you felt like you were needed to give up or the moments that you felt like this was so easy or whatever it is. And just be proud of yourself for noticing that. I'll be back tomorrow with a feel good mobility flow. It's gonna feel really good <laughs> as the name indicates. Great work today. I'll see you again soon.